favorite league champion by Jacob Aaron Aaron. We'll just go by Jacob because I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Favorite league champion. Hmm. Well, uh, favorite. I guess most played is definitely Leona. I'll, I'll go each role, even though I, I only like main two roles. And it's a little late for that now. But uh, let's see. Top. Jax, I really like playing Jax and Cho'Gath top. They're a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Mid, I try to avoid mid at all possibilities, but if I have to play mid, I'd... Who can I play the mids? Uh, I can play Fiddlesticks that goes mid, but I don't think I'd be as good of a middle sticks. I could also be like a Kha'Zix mid, but I, I like Kha'Zix as like the sneaky guy in the jungle killing everybody. So... I don't really have many mids. I don't. I I used to play top a bunch. It's my t three like major roles that I would play and still play off and on is jungle support and top. I'm a weird guy. I actually like playing support. I probably that's my best role, which is probably bad and good at the same time because I'll I'll get my role if I want it most of the time. But yeah, I, I main support for the most part, so that will be my most. Con actually, no, my most contested like person would be I don't know would it be jungle but well I play jungle a lot too that's in there and I'm just gonna take that hit uh jungle Ramus I play a little bit of Jack's jungle I haven't played Jack's jungle in a while I really don't like it as much Kha'Zix I really love Kha'Zix I just recently got him and this is all like completely no understanding the people who haven't played league I should put a little annotation like if you don't know anything about league you're gonna be confused for a good like two and a half minutes Okay, I'll try to move this question along for people who don't understand or haven't played League, which is really fun. You should try it out. It's very addictive, and it's also free. So if you have a decent computer, if it can run calculator, you should be able to run League. So, uh, uh Jungle, Kha'Zix, Ramus. Uh, who else do I like jungling? Uh, I guess if that's all I can think of, that's who I like. And, uh, what other positions? Support, the one I play the most, and I have, like, 40 ranked games with her, is Leona. Leona is really fun. I've just gotten sick and tired of her. Annie is fun to play support, too. Blitzcrank, always fun to mess people up. Thresh is fun. Uh, Amumu support. Tried, it's fun. Amumu is also a really fun jungle to play. And, yeah, I think I've leagued off enough, so I'm going to do these matchy questions, and then we're going to get back to the story. Okay, let's get one of these, please. Hey, I'm stupid. Let's see. Why do you always call yourself sexy when you make an appearance? I'm joking. It's comedy. God, people don't understand. No, but I just do that because I'm a very uh, self-deprecating humor type of guy. So it's self-deprecating humor because it's ironic. It's not ironic. It is making fun of myself. That's what self-deprecating means. I don't know. Shut up. You're not my mom. And let's see how far we are in the questions. We just reached question 20 out of 74. 47, 74. Yes, yeah, that's the right way. So we still got a ways to go. How the hell are you going to be able to read all of Seismic Chan's questions? Well, I guess there's not that many questions left because there's a bunch of those in there. He did write a paragraph of all that, and who fish soccer 98 answered that question? I made a joke about you earlier. You probably you probably got that one because you, you're, you're the fish, and I said something about a fish playing soccer. You, you, you no, run back the track, Dre. You got this. But uh, I answered a lot of them by summing up the, like, I don't know my little pony. And actually, moving right on to another Seismic Chan question uh, is, what does success taste like? I would say a nice cold birch beer and a, a good video making with your friends. I just, I, what does success taste like? Also, I hate this level because it's a puzzle and I always forget where to go. Success tastes like whatever your favorite meal is. And I think it's four, not three. Success tastes like, I don't know. Success doesn't have a taste. Success has a feeling and that's, really showing off my list with all those S's. So, no taste of success. The only taste you have is of victory. And one more door. One more time. One more. Wow, I played that really bad. One more. It's not four doors. It's five doors. It's a, it's a sedan. It's a five-door sedan. And, oh, I guess I can keep on getting power-ups so it doesn't matter here. Not talking about the gameplay. Told you. Let's go get another question. 
Could you? Oh, yep. That that was the continuation of the question that I found the fails and everything before. So that question's already been asked. Favorite video game common enemy? Hmm. Goomba's a classic. Goopa Troopers is a classic. Uh. The Bedinka Dinks from uh, Wind Waker, or at least that's what I just call them. The guys go Bedinka Dink, 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 Dink. Cheap cheeps are annoying, but they're also adorable. Uh. I'll go with booze actually because they're relevant to the situation and also I really I think booze are adorable so I'll go with booze and yeah not not the drinking booze I'm drinking beer obviously come on guys get your get your head out of your ass and uh, let's go this door yeah there we go we're not gonna be here forever so booze definitely who who doesn't love booze and I may have screwed myself over by pee winging that nope so yeah, I think that adequately answers the question. Not Octorox or something else. Uh, can you sing the fun song for us? By Shining Lightning Bolt. Also, the last question was from Fish Soccer. I'm sorry I didn't mention that. I forget that sometimes. And I'll do it during these two fights then. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere, anytime at all. Now here in the deep blue sea. Woo! Wow, that was faster than I expected. Should I sing the... I'll sing the Plankton version if I can remember it. F is for fire that burns down the whole town. U is for uranium. Bombs. N is for no survivors when you plankton. So, yeah. There, there's, your, there's your terrible singing. Yeah. So, I've, I've, I'm stupid better than I can fight this guy but without a care in the world. So, yeah. I'm going to run over here. And I was totally sliding. That's complete BS. I hate this game. Let's move on to the next question. Can you share your 3DS friend code? If so, what is it? I feel like having a celebrity as a friend. I'm not a celebrity. Don't act like that. I'm just some guy on YouTube with 500 subscribers. I bet there is millions of others of me who have the same amount of subscribers and people who sort of care about his videos. So I'm not really that much a celebrity. I'm sort of a loser. Well, sort of a loser. I mean, have you met the kid? I mean, really. I'm. But yeah... Yeah, just send me a PM and then I will send you my friend code. And if anyone else really wants it, go ahead and shoot me a PM. I will PM you with my friend code. Because I'm just not going to put it out. Actually, no. If I put it out there, they still need to send me. Just PM me because I will forget to put it in this video. That's quite honestly why I do that. But yeah, I, I'm not a celebrity. Definitely Mr. Fish Soccer. But I, would, I wouldn't mind at all. And you can go to my... Friend Safari, which I think my Friend Safari is really, really bad, by the way, if you have Pokemon X and Y. I think it's... I want to say it's Swanna... It, it's a flying. It's like Swanna, Spiro, and something else. It's a really, really bad Friend Safari. And, yeah, so you're not getting much out of that, except having a air quotes, celebrity. Not at all. Celebrity on your friends list. And, let's see. Any? Am I any good at Smash Bros by Baka Met Meltdown? Any good at Smash Bros? Am I any good at Smash Bros? Is this you, John? It's funny because my friends and I, it just seems like we've been having like Smash Bros weekends. We just go over and chill and play some Smash Bros and I obviously kick ass. Well, I don't kick ass. I'm the, I'm usually the guy who just sits in the corner and just goofs around and they're like, okay, we're going to team up on you. You're being a, a douchebag. But I, that's what I enjoy. I just enjoy having fun. Like, also I play a random a lot, lot which I refer to as Randy. I just, I'm like, oh, I don't even need to pick my champion. It picks it for me. So, I'm already at Smash Bros. I'm not the best. Uh, I guess I'll turn this into uh, characters I like to play in Smash Bros. Uh, Jake Leapoff for some reason works for me. But also, I, I play Randy a lot. So, I just like go with the flow and I'm not really fantastic with any champion. I, I like Captain Falcon too. I like his combos and his quick movements. But I just, I like playing Randy. I play however the tide takes me. It's just... It's fun for everyone. It's E for everyone, even though Smash Bros. is T. And it's also the first game I ever got at a Midnight Launch. And I think the only game I've gotten at Midnight Launch, even though there's games recently that I would love to get at Midnight, midnight Launch, but I don't understand why video games have to launch on Tuesday nights. Which is, uh, I don't understand that. And, uh, from Shining Lightning Bolt, how would you prefer to die? And a blaze of glory, and I don't know, at an old age, happy with my family surrounding me? It's not really a funny or entertaining answer, but it's probably the most true answer you're gonna get from me. And now you're just bringing back my thoughts of dying, and it's, ah, that's scary, and death is permanent, and 
scary and could happen in any moment. Stop doing that! And also, is that like a... That's like a poke at me. Like, oh yeah, you're gonna die like jumping off this cliff in Smash Bros. Because you're dumb, or I meant Mario Bros. Oh well, same difference. So let's just throw this, pause that, and... Did you ever get a detention? Di detention. <laughs> well, the die staying with me. Uh, from Jacob. Yes, I have. Freshman year. I hate my math teacher, which I will... Uh, you, if you ever ask me about it in real life, I will give you the full story on why I hate her and she's not getting me into class and she just screwed me over and I did the worst in a class and I didn't think she, she didn't email home. Uh, the only teacher that emailed home freshman year was my uh, history teacher because I fell asleep in his class. Which, funny enough, by the end of the year when he had a kid, he didn't have the kid. That's He's not that kind of man. He, he won't make a man out of you. Wait, that's that seems like some weird pedophilia joke. Uh, but... Oh, but, oh Christ. Uh, I got attention because I my dad and I were sharing a phone at the time because he was... I don't know why we were sharing a phone at the time. That was weird. I, I I don't have my fancy still sort of flip. Oh yeah, I can't go over level. I'm dumb. But we are sharing a phone at the time and one of his work people called me in the middle of the day and he just recently gave me the phone back for me so I didn't turn it off. And apparently if your phone goes off in class, which is only that class, like if that would happen in any other class, no other to teach it because they're all cool like that. Wouldn't have given a damn. But no, it's Mrs. I hate her guts who uh, doesn't have any friends and also looks like a man. Sorry. Well, I guess anyone who goes to my school can probably narrow that down or if they've heard of, they talk to me ever about this teacher or what just happened? I don't know. I hate her guts, but uh, it's her fault. And uh, I got a detention because my phone went off and I had to come in before school 45. No, I did that. Did I do it after? I did it before school. I come in 45 minutes early and you just got to sit there. It's not really that crazy. There wasn't like a, a bunch of bad kids in there and I, I started doing drugs and all that. And I, I had dark times. But now it was just I got detention for my phone being stupid, not me doing anything stupid. So yeah, not as cool of a story as you expect it. But hey, I'm still a rebel. I got one detention on my map, on my map, on my, on my record. And a question I believe is from Shining Lightning Bolt because it's a saves untitled historian question. Also, it is mixed up with the randomizer, and the other part of the sentence got sent somewhere else. Would you ever do a co-commentary with one of your friends again because your co-commentary? No, I don't. I don't talk to the town that much anymore. But your old co-commentary with Tim was hilarious. Well, thank you for thinking that was hilarious. I haven't talked to. Oh, I talked to Tim recently because his mom showed up in my work and was buying. That's not manure. That's mulch. Even though it doesn't smell bad, like I would expect mulch to smell. But uh, yes, I would always love to do that. The only thing about them is one. There's usually not a, there's usually too many people over my house to make a commentary and it'd just be so ridiculous. Even though that didn't stop us with the uh, who's you what thing, the Mario Party 5 thing, which was hilarious. I'd love to do that again, especially with like more mics and better editing. That would be awesome to do. Uh, Mario Party is such a fun party game to play. Even though last time I played it, it got friggin' screwed over and I lost, which we're not gonna talk about that. Not the video some other time I played with my friends that I just got screwed over. But uh, yeah, I'd love to do a commentary. The only thing with me is I I make my videos at such weird times like when I have off from school or when no one's home or like at 12 midnight when everyone's asleep. So it's always hard to, especially if I would do the video even like over Skype or something, to line up with someone else's schedule because I usually it's spur of the moment when I know I definitely can make a video on like like this week when I have exams and I know okay I'm gonna be home from this time so I can make videos now this is it's a very rarely when I know ahead of time when I'll be able to make a video so that's usually what keeps me from making videos with other people because I keep a such a weird schedule I can only do many times since Luigi has the polter gust and that question was from shedding a light bolt I believe since Luigi has the polter gust on your channel art thank you for looking are you planning Luigi's mansion as a let's play the Amarox 1220 funny you should mention that as uh, this is another planning let's play question but this has a bit more in depth to it and there is a reason why it is on my channel art and let me get this once please yeah there we go let's get this wombo combo going oh there's two uh oh baby right there Ah, uh, that's a 10 corner. The corner is going to have something that matches. Uh, right there. Ah, uh, okay, we got two in a row. That's good, that's good. But, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Luigi's Mansion! 
it was originally when I put out my plan for like this year's Let's Plays in my head. I didn't have like give out the memo to my uh, fellow cohorts who work with me, which is me, myself, and I. But it was on the list to Let's Play. But the way that Pikmin uh, was perceived by the Let's Play, and I'm so mad that that thing just disappeared. Pal Pikmin, and also I really still need to finish that. I'm not, I am a person not to leave my projects unfinished. Uh, how Pikmin was very unwell received, not very well received, people didn't seem to enjoy it or watch it, is why Luigi's Mansion got sort of canned as a Let's Play because I think it would go the same with Luigi's Mansion, or at least a little bit less. If not, it's a much shorter game. It will probably get played on my channel eventually, like I remember I did that live stream a while ago, which you can watch as a VOD on my channel, but it is really, really laggy and slow, and I guess you'd just be in there for like the Q&A type of aspect of me talking to the people in the chat, which I will, it's a reason why I'm getting around to this, also probably what I'll do with Pikmin is... I'll end up finishing that file even though it's way late, or I'll just start the game over again in Luigi's Mansion's sake because it's such a short game. But Pikmin will get finished, don't worry about it if you were one of the two or three fans of that. Because I remember times where that would get like one, two views. I mean, it's sort of like Infinite now, but Infinite... Infinite, I don't know. Let's Plays that don't get views. It's it's okay. I'm moving on to the next place soon enough. I enjoy, really enjoyed making Infinite. And sometimes Pikmin could be a pain in the ass, though. Even though Pikmin was also fun to make because I just got to chill out and talk strategy. But it seems like I get a little boring and I can understand that. So basically to summarize it up, Luigi's Mansion was planned. But with the reception of how Pikmin went, it was cancelled. So that's why it's in my channel art. Because I, I personally asked the guy who made it. Uh, Shadow Gengar, uh, I, I feel like I'm, excuse me, getting that name wrong, but I asked for him specifically. He, he offered the make, and I was like, oh yeah, could you work this, this, and this into it, because I was planning Let's Plays of those, and, nah, nothing. And what is in my channel, I haven't checked it in a while. Let's see what's going on here. So I got all those guys, I got Mario, I got Luigi, I got Bioshock, which, there was the hint to Infinite, even though it wasn't from Infinite. There is the Pikmin, I don't think, was Pikmin announced as a Let's Play at that point? I don't know, but Pikmin are in there. My guys from my current Let's Play at the time, my uh, Pokemon Black White 2, was in there, and Luigi with the Polter guys. Yeah, it was planned, and that, uh, that was meant to give a lot of hints for anyone who's paying attention, so that's why I did that. And let's see. Do you still work at that balls farm of